Alright guys, so I'm not quite sure how I should tell you guys this. I want to try my best to explain it all. I want to get into every little detail because I know you guys are probably curious like me. You know, no one would ever have thought that, you know, I got bullied and stuff like that. And, you know, that happens with everyone. Like, you don't know what goes on in someone else's life until, you know, you're actually in their shoes. So... It all started about, I think it was 8th or ninth grade when it all started, and that's when I started YouTube. And it's not like a serious bullying situation, like people weren't telling me to kill myself or something like that. It was just kind of a little thing that just led up to more and more and more and more. And then I just want to tell you guys how I got through it, how I got over it. And if I still get bullied to this day, let me know in the comments real quick if you guys have ever been bullied before, if it was something little, like, oh, your shoes are ugly, or if it was something big. So like I said earlier, that's when I started YouTube, and that's when I started making YouTube videos. Now, YouTube is, you know, is a pretty big platform. Like, oh, millions and millions of people watch YouTube videos every single day, and, you know, that's including the people that go to your school. So I started playing video games when I was, like, in fifth grade. And then, you know, I never stopped. I basically just, you know, played more and more video games as I got older. Like, I used to be addicted. Like, it used to be so bad. I used to blow off my friends just to play video games. But, you know, once I got into 8th or ninth grade, I started watching FaZe a lot. You know, they're a sniping team for Call of Duty, if you guys didn't know. Well, they used to snipe, but they don't snipe anymore. But, yeah, I used to watch FaZe, like, every single day. And, you know, that's when I really wanted to start a YouTube channel and start making videos because I wanted to be like them. You know, I looked up to them so much. And, you know, I I just really wanted to be like them so I went out I got myself an Elgato a bunch of stuff to record well basically I, I got it all for Christmas so I've been asking for that stuff for a while I finally got it for Christmas and that's when I started making YouTube videos nobody at my school really knew about my channel except for my friend you know Gannon he used to play Call of Duty with me and then he actually made a YouTube channel himself and we made Call of Duty videos back and forth and you know it was an awesome time but then later in the ninth grade years when I started you know post like videos on Instagram telling people to go you know watch my YouTube channel from school and stuff like that which probably wasn't the greatest idea it didn't really help me out any but you know I did that and a lot of people found my YouTube channel and you know if I make a reaction video you guys will understand like my YouTube channel back in ninth grade was so cringy like it was just awful it was so cringy I had a high voice. Well, I still have a high voice but my voice was even higher no I looked really Really, really young I mean I still don't even look like I'm 17 but yeah I looked really young it was just cringy like if you guys go back and watch your own YouTube videos if you you know make YouTube videos they're, they're gonna be cringy because over time you get better so when you first start out your videos aren't gonna be number one you know 100% amazing they're gonna be pretty bad so that's why you have a bunch of time to you know learn and then you know make better videos as time goes on so back in ninth grade you know I thought my videos were pretty good you know obviously when you first start making videos you know you're gonna think they're good like you're not gonna upload a video that you don't think is bad but once you know get 10 years you know past that point then you look back and you're like oh my god those videos were not good at all so I started making YouTube videos basically everyone knew about them and they watched them and you know it was mainly everyone you know knew about them and started you know watching them not because they liked them they watched them because they were funny and everyone used to like make fun of me for making YouTube videos for you know talking to myself in front of a camera playing video games because like if you walk up to someone and you just started making videos you're like hey watch this video and your video is kind of bad like you don't you won't think it's bad but if other people think your video is bad then they're just gonna laugh at you like you're doing this you only have like you know 10 subscribers I only had a hundred subscribers at the point so basically I was just you know talking to a hundred people well what I thought was you know a lot of people so basically everyone was like oh my god he's so dumb like why is he talking to himself he's not gonna get anywhere He's just playing video games, you know, I used to do bad in school as well, and I even failed ninth grade, but I'll save that for a different video. In case you guys didn't know, I did fail ninth grade, but I'm gonna save that whole discussion for a different video. But yeah, I used to do bad in school, I used to never show up, I used to just play video games 24-7, and people would call me like a nerd and stuff because I knew a lot about electronic, and yeah, basically I would get made fun of because, you know, I played video games, and I made YouTube videos playing video games. And, you know, if you guys do that, I don't want you guys to, you know, be in the same situation that I I am and if you are just do not let people you know bring you down if you love making YouTube videos then continue to make YouTube videos don't let anyone stop you because if your dream is to you know get a hundred thousand subscribers or even a million subscribers just follow your dreams don't let anyone tell you what you can and what you can't do because you know you can do it just people are jealous okay I think one of my friends told me his name's Andrew I made a video with him it's where we went to Walmart but he said like dude when he showed me your YouTube channel and I saw that it had a hundred 
subscribers, I was like, dang, dude, that made me kind of jealous, and I actually wanted to start a YouTube channel, so I kind of, you know, persuaded him to start a YouTube channel by showing him how many subscribers that I had, and, you know, a lot of people just don't understand that YouTube, once you start, it's hard to grow nowadays, because there's so many, you know, people that make YouTube videos, and it's just so hard to get noticed, but if you continue to upload your videos every single day, and you just be yourself, and you don't be like anyone else, then you'll eventually, you know, get known, and you'll get noticed by more people, and then you'll start to grow, but you're like, back then, you know, everyone was making Call of Duty videos, there was FaZe, like, I needed to give people a reason to watch me, and I don't think I did, that's why I didn't really get anywhere. I tried to be like everyone else, and you don't want to be like everyone else, you want to be like yourself, you don't want to, you know, if, if you see someone make a video trick shotting, or I hit in the same trick shot, you don't want to go out, try to hit a trick shot, and name it the same video. You want to think of your own ideas, you don't want to copy other people's ideas, because why would they watch yours if they could just watch the person with more views and more subscribers, like, if that makes sense to you guys. So, yeah, I was basically called nerds. I was basically, you know, made fun of because I made YouTube videos of Call of Duty. And, you know, you know, girls, they're mean. Okay, girls are mean. And I especially got made fun of by girls because why would someone want to go around, you know, dating a Call of Duty nerd that makes YouTube videos? Like, in reality, it sounds kind of dumb and cringy. I bet you if I had about, you know, 2 million subscribers making Call of Duty videos, every single girl would want to be with me. Or, you know, everyone would want to be my friend because I just had so much fame and I would have something to give them and you know that's how you know they're not really friends so you know after a while I, it just kind of got old you know I didn't let it bother me basically in class if anything had to come up about you know video games or gaming they, all, they would all hint to me I mean I kind of got known for like the biggest gamer in my grade or in my high school which was kind of cool because everyone you know came to me like yo I want to start making YouTube videos like this guy Zach for an example like he hit me up he used to go to my school he's like dude I actually want to start making videos like you like you make pretty cool videos and then, you know, everyone knew about me because I used to play video games 24-7. I thought that was kind of cool because I was known for something. It kind of got carried away because people were like, oh my god, he just plays video games. Like, he's not going to get anywhere in life. Why would I want to be with someone that, you know, would never get anywhere in life? Or why would I want to be a friends with some loser that sits in his grandmother's house in his room to plays video games all day and make YouTube videos? And, you know, I kind of thought about it and I did want to quit for a while because I didn't want to delete all my videos and stuff like that because I didn't want people to keep seeing them and laughing at me but then you know I just got through those hard times and you know that's where I am here today I kind of just got over it people want to make fun of me you know playing video games or people want to make fun of me for making YouTube videos you know let them make fun of me you know I really don't care because I still have fun to this day that's why I went out bought literally a $800 camera to go make YouTube videos because you know that's what I like to do and that's what I'm gonna do I'm not gonna let anyone stop me I just hope that you guys understand don't let anyone change your mind about anything because you will regret it like if you let someone change your mind a couple years later you're gonna regret it like if I went back and I like thought about it and I actually quit YouTube and never you know made a YouTube video ever again that would suck because then I wouldn't be here where I am today I who knows where I would be I probably just still be playing Call of Duty trick shotting off a building or something like that I just like making videos I guess think it's fun I love editing videos like editing videos are so much fun to do and especially making them like thinking about video ideas is pretty hard to do but editing them I think it's so much fun and once you get a good video to go it is so much fun so I hope I spoke to you guys I just wanted to tell you like a quick you know little story about how I did get bullied in high school but I came through it I'm here where I am today hopefully you know I spoke to you guys and a lot of you guys you know understand and I hope a lot of you pick up advice like never give up you know do what you like to do and just follow your dreams because one day it'll all come true so I hope you guys did enjoy the video if you did make sure to drop a like down below also subscribe to the channel if you are new and let me know if you guys have any questions or let me know if you guys were in the same situation as me and let me know like yo Nathan this helped me so much I'm not gonna quit YouTube or whatever you guys like to do people used to make fun of me but now since you know you gave me this awesome advice you know I'm not gonna let them do that anymore so I really hope you guys do enjoy the video I hope you guys have a great rest of your day I'll catch you guys in the next video peace